Infinity. 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 Okay. That is not what they said. They said their name was Team Glizzy. Okay, yeah, Team Glizzy. <laughs> well, who are you guys? Glizzy Eaters. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got the Glizzies yeah, versus the Glizzy Eaters. Thanks, man. We need more people like you, man. I've been in this situation for years, man. Yeah. The city it deliberately makes it hard for someone to get back on their feet. David, I got $1,000 of cash in my hands right now. And we are gonna be giving this $1,000 away in the next two hours to the needy. Because guys, at the end of the day, today's Labor Day, I was born on Labor Day, and the world is just going through a lot right now. People just need just something good. That's right. Oh, she they knows. Don't, they don't care for anybody, anything Asian. They don't even help at all. Yeah, yeah. a lot of businesses out here are closing down and, and they're not getting any help. That's right. What's your name? David. Oh, David. That's David my brother's Andrew, name. David Andrew. 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 Oh, all right. that's my brother. <laughs> and if you guys feel inspired at all, there are a bunch of links for legit charities down below. Let's go. Yo, shout out to Hockey from Champion Pizza. He made sure that we were able to get 40 cheese pizzas. Yo, these pizzas are $10 each, so that's $400. So that means our, the rest of our budget is $600. Marco, as an Italian, is this, is this the most pizzas you've ever carried? Uh, no, I actually carried more than this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are on a two hour time limit. We're gonna head to the Bowery Mission and hand them out. All right. I just see somebody right, walk by me, and look at the pizzas and go. All right, you guys, we got the pizzas in there. Let's go. Thank you. Champion pizza, it's legit. Yo, Andrew, how we doing on time? It's been about uh, 45 minutes, so I mean, there's a lot of people hanging out at the park. You know, I don't know if they ate yet, but we'll just see who wants pizza. Get a whole slice. That's the cheese pizza. Labor Day, you, you know, just talking about There you go, two pies for you guys. All right. Give me another one. A couple of people's guys. I'm going to take one home. Okay, you guys, you guys got a. How's the pizza? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. No worry about it. We've got to give it away. She don't eat it. Got you guys. Yeah, it's yeah, just for Labor Day, just trying to pay it forward. I have one last pizza left. Yeah, I have a pizza, I have a pizza, man, man. Yeah. We're gonna be honorable. Honorable. Like, yeah. We're gonna be honorable. <laughs> there we go. All right, you guys, we're at West 4th. Again, uh, we're illegally parked, but we just talked to some cops. We just told them that we're giving away some pizzas, doing something good. They were chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, are you fun, bros? Dude! Yo, bro, look at that. Yeah. 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 Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Are you New York Nico? No, no, I'm not. I'm not New York. Nico. Yo, that's uh, funny. No, no, no. People thought he's New York Nico. People thought Mutt. That's New York Marco. Shay Shay. That's Cantonese? Shay Shay? Mandarin. Mandarin. How do you, that's, how do you say what you're welcome, man? Gucci. Gucci? Oh, yeah, take that. Take the whole thing. Take the whole thing. Let's do the whole thing, man. We're working people. We just got to show our appreciation. Yo, we are on Canal Street right now. We're going to try to pass out the rest of these pieces. Thanks, man. We need more people like you, man. I've been in this situation for years, man. Yeah. The city, it deliberately makes it hard for someone to get back on their feet. For everybody, I'm in. God bless you, brother. Thank you so much, yeah. homie. All right, thank you, baby. Yeah. A large cheese. God bless. You hungry, sir? Yo, you know what, man? I know a lot of people in need. God bless. It's even hard to get off your feet. I know. Just for Labor Day, you know, we know. You know how the world is right now. No, it's a, hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No. All right, you guys, out of 40 pizzas, we're down to our last two. We gave away 38. Uh, we went all over the Lower East Side, to, and now we're in Wall Street. You know, some of the reactions, obviously, you got a range of reactions, but the, the really meaningful ones, man, it's like, uh, and that last guy, he kind of had, like, tears in his eyes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it, that it hit and, me. And you know that they really appreciate it, and there's not many people who actually do this. All right, you guys, we just got done giving all the pizzas away to the people in need or people who are working hard. Now we're gonna do something for the kids. I'm gonna get four pairs of Air Force One all white lows. That's about 400 bucks here at Foot Locker in Soho. Okay, so they just told me that they're sold out of all white Air Force One lows. I feel like this is not a bad substitute. $90, white and black. Man, I am so looking forward to uh, the kids' reactions. I think they're gonna be hyped. And this is really just gonna up everybody's level of play because there's a prize and an incentive that they're playing for. All right, you guys, like we said, we're giving away $1,000 in two hours, 40 pizzas, that's 400. For uh, 
Air Force One lows, that's about 90 plus tax, 100 each, that's another 400. Total is 800, we got 200 left. All right, you guys, we just got four pairs of Air Force One lows for our basketball tournament. We got uh, just a little bit of time left. Let's head over to Grand Street Park. All right, you guys, we just gave away 40 pizzas, but we are on a time crunch to do this basketball tournament real quick and give away these Air Force Ones to the winning team. After spending all our money on pizza and shoes, we only have $240 left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend the rest of the money at local shops and bodegas to buy everybody drinks at the park. Jason, how come you didn't have a mask, man? I'm about to get a haircut, but I don't want to, like, I have another mask, but it's like bandana. All right, well, we hooked Jason up with a mask. Yo, can you show us the trick? All right, a trick in exchange for a mask. Oh, hey! All righty, man, he yeah, earned yeah, his yeah, mask. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, is that Tashi? Yo, bro, you oh. look like you got hit with a grown man, What's right, bro? Man? I ain't seen see you in a couple bro. years, bro. All right, you guys, here's the rules of the three on three. We gonna have eight teams of three. Everybody gotta wear a mask. That's the rules. You gotta be 18 and under. The winning team is all gonna get Air Force Ones. Who trying to win some Air Force Ones? Make some noise. Yeah! As you guys know, supporting local businesses is crucial right now, so we're gonna hit up two stores, or maybe three. So there's two Chinese stores right here that are gonna be selling drinks, and then there's a bodega up there. We got round one going down to the Labor Day basketball tournament. What's your guys' team name? Infinity. Infinity, Infinity okay. that is not what they said. They said their name was Team Glizzy. Team Glizzy. <laughs> well, who are you guys? Glizzy Eaters. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the Glizzies yeah, versus the Glizzy Eaters. Yeah. About, we want a good clean So got, yo, clean game, you know, sportsmanship, guys. Uh, clean game and play hard. Who's your guys' best player? We got a game of one-on-one -on -one to one point versus your guys' best one-on-one -on -one player to see who gets ball. Jerry? Paper, scissors, rock for who got Oh! Oh! One up, one up! more games to go. All right, you guys, we got our second matchup in the uh, first round. What's your team name? Green Lights, green lights versus? Beijing Ducks. Ducks. All right, the, the Green Lights versus the Beijing Ducks. We had to change the rules. We had to shorten the game to five all ones. Speed it up a little bit. Who's your best one-on-one -on -one player? Who y'all send it to the gauntlet? Gauntlet right All right, here. they got Bronny James Jr. Do the people say you look like Bronny? Yo, we got Bronny. We got Bronny versus who? Who's y'all? Who's, who's, who's sending it to the gauntlet? I'm gonna say he's my man right here. Young okay, Green. young Tibetan. Young Tibet. Young Tibet. <laughs> Has one leg walk on? Hey, yo, Marco, was that your first time rapping? First time rapping ever. You got to deal with player complaints. Yeah. What else are you looking for? What I'm mostly looking for is just a clean game and no complaining, guys. I will make the right call, I promise. All right, it took some finagling. We figured out round three, round one, third matchup. What's your guys' team name? Shanghai Sharks. We got the Shanghai Sharks over Everybody here. Everybody picking CBA names. I like fans. They said the team is just fan, named after fan. Y'all gotta get masked though. Who we send it to the gauntlet? Team fan, you name your fan. Oh, you got, you got ball. Our fan ball. 
out here. Oh! You right, so guys, this is the semi-final round. So who y'all sent it to the gauntlet? We, we got the Glizzies versus the Beijing Ducks. One, two, three, shoot. All right, all right, remember, winning team each gets a pair of the Air Force Ones. Brooklyn Nets colors. Goose, what you think so far, man? It's a great game right here. Finally got a good call from the ref. <laughs> I'm telling you, Jackie no is ball. nice. Great, no All right? Need in the leg, so it's more like a bruise. So we're just gonna get a sub. Yo, we're just gonna make this a championship game. Keep it clean. We go into 11. Okay, your guys' ball. Let's go. Yeah. This is a championship game, guys. That was a crazy game. The winner today between the Glizzies, Infinite Glizzy, or Infinite or Glizzy, whatever you guys want to say it was, and the Beijing Ducks is the Beijing Ducks. Pop it up. You guys get a fresh pair of Air Force One. So everybody clap it up for them. We got three pairs. Jeez. But over here, I got to give it up, man. Infinite Glizzy, there's a gift receipt. You know what I mean? So y'all can figure out how to get some t-shirts. Or... Hey, yo, everybody make some noise for everybody. Andrew, Marco, that's it, right? That's that's a thousand dollars in two hours. All right, everybody, that wraps up our video of spending a thousand dollars and giving it out to New York in different ways. Yo, Marco, thank you for yo, being shout a part of it. Marco, for being here. Yo, yo, Dennis, yo, thank you for being a part of it, man. Uh, shout out to Goose. Shout out to all the kids who came out. We did it. We did it for the community. People losing their loved ones to losing their livelihoods. To just man. There's just so much going on, and for us just to bring a smile and that excitement back to people, even for a moment. And by the way, don't worry, I got fans team something too, but I couldn't let him win because at the end of the day, shout out to fan, but he plays college basketball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got to give the little guys. And like, he's technically over 20 years old too. I'm going to get his ID so. after this. He's older than 20. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video, and in the comments down below, you give us an idea of something that you would like to do, whether that's something that would be cool to, to give away or, or, a, or a type of charitable video. Anything, just a spark of positivity. Hey, and if you guys feel inspired in any way to give back, we're going to leave a bunch of links down below. Uh, you can pick your charity that's going on. There's a number of causes. And I'm sure there's even way more that we can't list. So just do something positive right now if you can. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace. almost like maybe two days of food for a lot of people or at least one whole day and uh I, what something that i realized is like a lot of people we think like okay they're just like homeless maybe they've been out here for a long time but you know given this current situation they maybe haven't been here that long and it's just been hard to no, find work and, again. and some people actually kind of give you like a brief overview of their story yeah. they're like yeah, yo it's just hard i didn't really want to be like this maybe yeah. it's not you know drugs or alcohol it's just like they just can't find work and so